Some visitors came riding to Bethlehem. Bang, bang! They knocked at the palace door. We've come to see the new king, they said. The king who has just been born. King Herod was most upset. A new king? Instead of him? Never! The men bowed low before him. We have come from the east, they said. We saw a bright new star and followed it here. A new star for a new king. A king for your people, the Jews. We have come so far to see him. Please tell us where he is. King Herod was most upset. Who could this new king be? Then he remembered something. He sent for his wise men. Long ago, God promised to send a king, he said. Do you know where the king will be born? In Bethlehem, sire, they answered. So say the prophets of old. King Herod wanted to find the new king. He wanted to kill him. But he was much too cunning to say so. You must go to Bethlehem. King Herod said to the visitors, When you find the new king, please let me know. I would like to see him too. That night, they saw the star again and followed it to Bethlehem. It shone in the sky right over the place where Jesus was. At last, we have found the new king, they said, as they knelt down before him. Then, out of their bags came the presents they had brought him. My gift is gold, said the first visitor. My gift is frankincense, said the second. My gift is myrrh, said the third. These were costly presents for a king. Strange things to give a baby. King Herod waited and waited. But the men did not come back. God sent them home by another road. We knew it would be worth it the moment we saw the star. Worth the hassle. Worth the effort. Worth the sacrifice. But there were times when we wandered, I can tell you. We questioned the wisdom of carrying on as the days dragged by. And when finally we got to Jerusalem, only to find his own people had no idea what was going on. Then we became really worried. Quite astonishing. The biggest event in history. And they didn't even realise it was happening. Thankfully, they looked it up, eventually, somewhere in one of their old prophets. And we knew where to go then. It was all there in writing, if only they'd taken the trouble to look. God knows why they couldn't see it. Anyway, we made it at last. Tired, sore and hungry, but we made it. And it was worth it. More than we had ever imagined. For in that child was a different sort of king, a different sort of kingdom from any we'd ever encountered before. As much our ruler 
as theirs, as much our kingdom as anyone's. So we didn't just present our gifts to him. We didn't just make the customary gestures of acknowledgement. We fell down and worshipped him. Can you imagine that? Grown men, respected, wealthy, important, kneeling before a toddler. Yet it seemed so natural, the most natural response we could make, the only response that would do. Lord Jesus Christ, you have told us to seek and we shall find, yet that search is not always easy. As we look for meaning in our lives, there is so much that puzzles and perplexes. The more we discover, the more we realise how little we have understood. Give us the determination of the wise men to keep on looking, despite all that obscures you until at last we find the journey rewarded and discover you for ourselves. Amen. Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.